In the past few months, cattle owners and farmers in Crooked Tree have been losing livestock valued in thousands of dollars. At least 20 farmers have pastures in the area where jaguars have been raiding. Wayne Wade is one of those farmers with 85 heads of cattle at stake. More than one jaguar. We have several jaguars already. Give a lot of problems about me. Me personally, myself alone, don't lose six. I have friends who lose seven, some lose two, one. The big problem for the last like year and a half we have about the check. Okay, tell us about money wise, what exactly is the last for you guys? Pro approximately me alone, we lose six. We die within a year time I sell in there, I may get about $10,000 for dinner right there. Because each one of them never loan like up to 1500 like when my neighbor just said just now. So the big loss for the, for the villagers, they will lose the animal. We have about 19, between 19 and 21 farmers back there and almost, I'll say 90% of them don't get affected already about that. Right, Only must be like three farmers don't get bad or things like that yet. But the majority of farmers back there lose animal no. by the jaguar. And to avoid more losses, the farmers have tried to secure their livestock. But the fence around the pastures has not proven to be jaguar proof. The only thing we could do without fence we had to replace. Tiger, our cat. So they could climb over thing and all kind of thing they could do, check. They will get in. You can't stop it for that. They could climb, check. They will get in your place. So we don't have no ways. The people are telling me, it's a defense farm already. If you avoid the farm, going to people's place. But they're not going to give me no, no assistance. We don't get tired. So we don't see that. They don't bring no traps. The guys said they could bring no traps. Still not see yet. They not come. No compensation for no the heads of cattle loss. No compensation. They not pay no mind. First, she not pay no mind. The government not pay no mind. That the period where they happen to be leased. Jake, we not get no assistance when it comes to the thing. There. None at all. Wade says he has reached out to different authorities, but so far they haven't received help. I check with forestry. I check with the Arabon boy by the lagoon side, the Kutria, and the guy for the tiger. For fire she come and inspect and he, he say they'll come back to try to do something and they not show up their face back no more again. With hundreds of acres as far as the eye can see, it is difficult to know when and where the jaguars would strike. While traps would be ideal, none have been set for the predators. With their livelihood at stake, what do farmers do in this case? The only way we could deal with it if we meet there we have to shoot eh? That's the only way we could get out of it. We, check, but we use a lot of time and a real chicky animal and hard to see. Eh? I spend days and days, weeks I spend the choice if I could sit down and I know sit there. That when they don't kill an animal, then you know. So, so far, as far as you know, none of the jaguars have been, have been caught or killed? I think, I, I'm not sure, but I believe they killed some already. But the people, if you could catch that thing, like, the guys don't come and just look and walk around my fascia and that's it right there. You know, here I'm not move back for there again. You check? They say if we if if we if we happens to kill anyone at a car and then they will see if that animal we have some kind of problem or like that, but you never they never get back to you. The problem isn't a new one. Wade started to lose cattle years ago, but lately there has been an increase in losses. The problem in a long time because the first time by my first animal, one come up and he killed two and he drive out like about nine. So I have my loss. But if I never have no problem again for a while, feel like about three years till he start really bad again this Within a year and a half, they really start to get out of hand. You check. What do you think is, is causing the jaguars to, you know, concentrate or to be coming around so frequent in this area? I'm not sure where the jaguar they come from. People say they come way from the car side. Some people say they come from a hill bank side. I don't really know where they come from, but right now they're really out of hand. They really get out of hand. That was like, I see a lot of people say that well, they clean down place, people they clean all that big land. But I'm not really sure. I don't really know exactly what happened. And while it has gone on for years, the recent incidents have farmers concerned for their personal safety. Well, you have a concern on one personal safety, that's not for sure. Because you know, sitting there and you're back at your place, maybe you take a little rest or thing, you don't know when one of them will jump at the You check? So that's a big problem with that part there. Check, that's a big problem too. So when you go back to your yard, you always have to trouble with gun and carry your dog with you. You try to make sure that when you do something, you get your dog wrong or something, if you alert if, if they ever come. You check? Reporting for News 5, I'm Andrea Polanco.